Hi folks, thanks again for joining me. I've got another watercolour demonstration for you today. This one, another river scene. So, got three distinct layers. Got the foreground trees there, nice dark tones. Got the middle ground there, nice loads of reflections, few rocks in the water, and then the lightest tones in the back. Just to help create that sense of depth. So the colours, we've got ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, I didn't use the crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. We've got large on Ransom Hake and a couple of rigger brushes, number three and a tiny little one. Quick book plug, watercolour paint made simple, volume three. This is available on Amazon, hardback, softback, Kindle, loads of photographs to take you through each painting. There's nine paintings in there for you to have a go at. If I can find them, I've got eight of them on the one side. There they are, there's the, uh, the paintings in the book, so plenty for you to have a go at. Available on Amazon. I'm not using too much water, just enough to just to, to wet it, just to soften the background, which is going to be a very light sort of bit of raw sienna, a bit of light red in there, a bit of ultramarine. That colour down the bottom as well. Hint of Payne's grain there. Don't want to get too mad. Right, and let's work on the background trees. So it's quite a sort of, sort of semi abstract background. You can't really work out too much just everything's just softening off I'll tell you what I should have done I should have done the sky a little bit lighter in fact I'm going to do that now I'm going to do it anyway and then I'll have to put the trees in again I just want to lighten that sky a little bit let's put the trees in again a little bit of that red in there as well down the bottom, putting in loads of reflections and then just come down a little bit lower actually because the uh, it's going somewhere like that the uh, the, the river banks a little bit of lemon yellow in there as well just a hint of green here and there amongst all the uh, other colours yeah, and a few reflections, a little bit of red in there as well, a bit of blue. I'm just wondering whether to, I'll just put a hint of little flicks here and there, not so much. Let's just get something just down right by the water's edge I think. A few reflections in there. What I might do is just pull a water line across so I'm just cleaning the brush, just a clean dry brush, I'm just going to just pull across. I'll do it. Just come back to that in a minute, just strengthen that down there, I'll come back to that in a minute. Right then, let's move over to the other side. Now the other side, let's start off with a bit of brown, a bit of red. A little bit stronger this one. A bit of blue in there as well. A bit of yellow. A bit more brown, a bit more red. In there. Brown, blue. And again, loads of reflections. Coming down just in front of that. Just 
bring this down a little bit lower. Now I want number three rigger, a bit of brown, a bit of blue, and I'm going to start putting a whole load of twigs and trunks and branches and things, paints, brown and blue. Put it on quite dark because it's just the rigger brush, constantly having to reload the brush. And then when I've got not a lot of paint on, I'm sort of woof, all over the place. A bit more down there. Brown, a bit of red in that one this time. Don't forget the reflections at the same time. A few little narrower ones over here. They're slightly, some of these are slightly further away. And also the odd little thing growing up here as well. Again, don't forget those reflections. Very light brush work up there. Back to the rigger brush. A big one there. Look at that one. It's gone really thick. See the difference now. I'm pressing down now. Pressing right down on the brush. That means a big reflection as well. It's coming down there, something like that. Now let's pop another one in. Another one going off this way. Let's pop one in with the height brush. It is quicker with the height brush because there's obviously more paint on the brush itself. So let's pop one in there like that. These ones are quite a little bit thinner. All sorts of angles. And then a few twigs and things. Don't just want trunks, want branches coming off all different directions. A few more off of that as well. Right, now the paper's stretched a little bit, so I'm just going to pull it tight against the board and then I'll be good to go again. I'm just debating whether to put a bit of, bit of green in amongst the foliage, amongst the leaves, or I might just leave it as it is actually. Sort of autumn colours. A few things going on in the background. Another thing up there. Right then, now we've got another another layer in there. So I'm just now this one. Let's put some big trunks in. Now this one, I'm doing something like that. 
and another one let's go up there like that and then one more and then I'll switch back to the rigger brush something like so back to the rigger brush and just pop on a few little twigs and things coming off there things a few things down the bottom They're pushing right over into that light area there just a little bit more paint on there I think I want to get a little bit darker on this bit I think just want a few things on there just to push Bring them forward and push that background way back. Just want to make sure this is flat. So I just paused it for a sec there, just so I could have a look at it. And I think what it needs, it just needs a sort of a little bit of colour in there. So I've just squeezed out a bit of neat paint. And I'm going to go just a bit of brown and just dip into a little bit of that red. And I'm just going to try and strengthen these banks just there. A little bit of colour in there. those reflections as well and just a little bit down here as well so strong it goes in and what I want to do is just add a little bit of green in there as well so I've cleaned the brush just take a little bit of this yellow a little bit of that blue blue's quite sticky on the palette I don't know how to squeeze that out um, I'm just going to introduce a little bit of a little bit of this yellow up there, and a little bit down the reflections. stick a little bit down there as well stick all this on there stick a little bit up in the trees as well ones as well I think. I'm just taking just a little bit of pines and then just pop it on there like so. Now I can't resist. I don't know if I'll be able to scrape in. Let's just see how it works. And then, oh I can get a a few little rocks. Yeah, let's get it in there like that. Don't forget the reflections as well. Let's have a big one down there like that. And 
and then one I think I need also I just pull a dry brush across the water just to create like a sort of ripple when the wind catches the water type of effect so all I've done I've just dried it just straighten it so I've got a nice chisel edge and I'm just, just pulling across Not so keen on this to be honest with you. I might just have a bit of a bit of blue into that just Dry that. Just go a little bit of brown, a little bit of blue. It's also, just darken. Darken these a little bit. Have a little bird. I'm gonna have a little bird. Flying up there. I think I'm gonna call that one done. I'm just gonna stick my name over in this corner and call that one finished, I think. So let's put a mount on and see what it looks like. So here's the finished paint in the mains. So if we have a closer look, initially I put a few colours in the sky, but I ended up just taking most of it out. Just so this distant tree line, just nice lightly toned tree. You see the difference in tones from the strongest, darkest, right through to the back. Creates that sense of depth. Little bird there flying amongst the uh, trees. One or two reflections for the distant tone. Pull that water line across it just faintly before working on the uh, the middle ground here. This goes on a little bit stronger, well, quite a bit stronger. Not so much the distant trees there, but especially the, the full, especially this one here, this big, big tree trunk. Mixture of rigor work and height brush to put all these uh, trunks and branches and twigs in. And then a bit of neat paint there, just had a little bit of colour and then couldn't resist scraping a few rocks with their reflections down by the banks below the trees. Got our dark foreground in, a little bit of rigor work and then three trunks shooting right up into the sky again. A bit of dry brush work and a bit of the lemon yellow there with a touch of ultramarine in there just to suggest a few leaves. Just ran a dry brush across the edge to create some sort of ripples on the water amongst all the reflections. So that's it for that one. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. We've got all the books on Amazon, paintings are on eBay, more videos over at Patreon. So leave your questions and comments down below. Keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.